working so hard on this. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you all. First and foremost, thank you all for being here. I, I think today I feel a little more alive. Just being here makes me feel like we're participating in life. And, and I, I thank you for this opportunity. Um, I want to thank Mayor Red. I want to thank John Klein, Father Bob Pillar, Luke Capello, the freeholders, the service providers whom I've seen in action here today, and all the other organizations that made this possible. I'd also like to thank our fellow board members at the JBJ Soul Foundation, especially Mimi Box, Craig Spencer, Leo Carlin, Steve Perna, who can't be here with us today, Sister Mary, and Heather Goldfarb for their dedication and support of our mission, providing hope for those who experience hunger and homelessness. Once again, we're honored to be able to support Joseph's House as they work hard to connect with men and women who may not have a safe place to sleep tonight, filling this important gap in homeless services. In the Camden area is a huge step forward, as already witnessed by the demand for these resources. As I've said, today is actually a beautiful day in Camden. Another example of what can happen when we put the power of we to work. As the staff of, Saint, of, of Joseph's house knows, we can't do this alone. The real truth comes from meeting with the many people across the country, and many like Jamaica, who humble me when we hear of his story the challenges that he's faced in order to help us to create solutions for those who are going to follow in his footsteps. Last November, when we came together to witness the start of this construction and to engage others in this effort to house Camden's most vulnerable, we recognized that this building would be more than just a bricks and mortar, but it would provide hope and promise to many who sought shelter within its walls. We shouldn't fool ourselves into thinking that we've met the need, but it's one step towards the solution, and that solution is, in fact, service providing and, of course, shelter. Although Joseph's house has only been in operation in this location for a few months, we already know and we are seeing the results both in record numbers of people who are seeking help and now also in the youth that are coming and knocking on the doors of Joseph's house. With the assistance of my mentor, Sister Mary, Sister Mary Scullion, and Joe McConnor of Project Home, we have learned and we have shared so much with Camden and the vision of what next steps could look like. So once again, we put forth this challenge for all of us to take the next step. The solution is housing. The solution is supported services. There are those who are in need and those of us who can help we believe that now we can truly make an impact here on the homeless issue. So in closing, I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank you for your compassion and in your response to answering the call to get involved. On behalf of those who really dare to make a difference, I continue to say thank you for the inspiration. God bless you all. Thank you.